Okay, so <clears throat> I am done with uh, my apple cider vinegar. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's smelling like it. I'm probably going to keep it there for a little longer. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. It is vinegary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the apples, keep the apple cider there. Maybe I'll just dump everything out and separate it, but then bring back the apple cider vinegar that I made out of the apples. And I'm going to put... A host of garlic in there I'm going to make good old-fashioned Middle Eastern style um, which would be it could be like Iranian Iranian uh, it could be also Armenian they do it that way as well so I'm going to ferment garlic in its skin in apple cider easy as that that's all I don't even have to show you how to do it use your imagination also what is this here that I have? So I'm using um, homemade local honey. The darker, the better. And usually it's buckwheat honey, okay? This is some serious honey. Never processed, no fillers, nothing, okay? From the farmer's market. Uh, this is a remedy. It's an antibiotic. It's good to always stir it because you want to make sure that... Uh, that it's always wet with, with, um, uh, what do you call it? Honey. Okay. Cause that's, what's going to keep the, uh, if not, it's going to start growing some fungus and you got to throw it out. That already happened to me. And I poured a lot of olive oil into my rosemary to just dump it. Cause I didn't know better. Okay. So here I have a remedy and I'm reusing jars, right? Of onion and, and, um, and it tastes really good. Actually, I put this on plain yogurt as a dessert. Uh, so it's, it's pieces of onions in honey. Just like this, except instead of garlic, this is onions. And this is supposed to be a good uh, remedy for coughs. Mm. And uh, it tastes good. Frankly, you could use it like fruit at the bottom kind of thing on, on yogurt. And as you know, I only use one kind of yogurt. And guess what it is? Either the homemade or the cobot. Co okay. All right, so um, that's how yummy it is, okay? Honey with onions, okay? Because shallots really go very well in yogurt when you have Persian food. Uh, so I thought, hey, why not use it as a substitute for fruit at the bottom, right? So here's just more of it. Um, I may grow this. Uh, this is an older version. I'm not going to mix a new, a, new, a new version with an older version, uh, but... I'll just be refilling this and then I'll, I'll do a whole jar. Okay, oh. sounds like a deal. All right, so my big plan that I'm really excited about, I may, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with the okra. So I may do a fermentation on all of this because it's just extra stuff. And who knows? I may want to even add some tamarind to it. <laughs> what do you think for flavor, right? You never know. You do what you want, right? You do what you want. So now I have a full table here, right? <laughs> Felice's little grocery fermentation process thingy here going on, right? Okay, so now I'm going to get back to you while back at the farm I'm drying my, my forest mushrooms. Um, I am going to get my hands dirty, dump this, and separate the apples from, from the apple cider because this is already done. Thank God. I just want to show you something. I use this. There's a little gap here. It has no rubber. So because it had no rubber, there was air, enough air to bring it in and out. Okay. And I, you can see this, this is a shot glass. If you don't have those weights, you just use a shot glass. You could get a, a bunch of them, you know, at the dollar store, you know what I mean? And, and, and it works great. It pushes the stuff down, okay? So this has been going on for two weeks. Now I'm going to process this apple cider, probably make more. I'm going to make more apple cider, but I'm going to use this apple cider to ferment. Guess what? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Rolling drums. Garlic. I got garlic here 
and garlic here at the bottom. You can't see it. But um, I'm going to, I love the fermented, brine fermented garlic. It has been a while and it's the best and the easiest. So I'm going to separate the, the, the apple cider from the apples. Pour back the apple cider here and just dump these in there. Okay. Some I will do loose. Some uh, it'll be just the whole thing. And I love it. It'll last for two years. Set it and forget it. That's it. Set it and forget it. That's one of the best parts. Although, to be honest with you, it becomes tasty. It takes out, you know, the garlicky flavor and, and the stink and all that stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, after uh, checking out the results of my of my uh, <clears throat> my apple cider vinegar, I realize it's actually more like uh, wine at this point, and I'm not ready to move forward unless I want to buy a bottle of Bragg's to get a shortcut. So I I poured the apples back in, uh, but it is processing. And so that's going to end this session. Thank you so much for watching and sharing. Please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe, and the notifications bell. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments as well. I'd like to know what state you're from, what country. And as you can see, I'm reusing jars. You know, no need to buy jars. <laughs> I mean, I, I do have plenty of, of, of jars that are not, like, being reused. But this is perfect. And... I mean, this lid is clean enough that I don't need to put wax paper on it yet. Uh, and this is cough syrup that I made, made again. Um, this is being reused as well. All I got to do is burp it. Uh, and this burp it as well. I have plenty of these of, of fermenting jars as well. Um, which you could find plenty of in, in uh, thrift stores. Uh, or or um, a lot of them are in the box like a set of this that I got. Um, which was in a flea market and uh, I only paid five dollars for like four of these jars different sizes and um, you don't have to spend a lot of money if you don't have it right and if you have it why not just put it in your savings account and possibly invest it in gold <laughs> uh, all right so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you joining me in my kitchen as I uh, dry my mushrooms as you can see my mushroom rack and uh, Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye now